For the last 18 years, Natalie Holloway's family and her community have endured the pain of the unknown. Now, family attorney John Kelly tells us Joran Vandersloot is revealing details about Holloway's death in Aruba. The confession is part of a plea bargain in a federal wire fraud case linked to Holloway's disappearance. There won't be any further, you know, investigation or search or anything like that if that's what you're asking for Natalie's remains. Of course, Vandersloot has claimed to know where Holloway's body was hidden before. He offered similar intel to Holloway's mother in 2010 in exchange for a quarter of a million dollars. Ultimately, though, his tips proved false and he was charged with wire fraud. Former U.S. Attorney Jay Town believes this new offer should come with more credibility. I think those will be personal conversations with the Holloway family um, where they can at least understand why the Bureau and um, the prosecutors um, believed this particular admission. Vandersloot faces up to 20 years for each fraud charge in this Wednesday sentencing, which he won't begin serving until completing a separate prison term for murdering a woman in Peru. Joran Vandersloot has decades worth of prison time to look forward to, um, and God knows what else, and he still has hell waiting for him. So uh, it, it is, uh, you know, whatever we can bring to the Holloway family in terms of closure, I think is important. Closure they've sought for more than 6,000 days.